What's up everybody, it's Brenton Brown from Forza Tuning and Performance. And today I wanna to talk a little bit about another pretty cool car that Dodge has just released. So we've got the new releases like the Charger Red Eye, the Hellcat powered Durango, uh, the Red Eye Superstock. So they've also released the Ram Rebel TRX. So let's talk a little bit about what this truck is and why I think it's a really cool truck. So they kind of released this about four years ago. So the original concept truck came out at the Texas State Fair in 2016 and they released it and then they kind of didn't really, you didn't hear much about it. And so it's supposed to come with a detuned version of the Hellcat engine, around 575 horsepower. So after several years go by and there's really not any updates or not too much news about it. In 2019, the press release photos of the Ram Rebel 1500, if you looked at the photos on the radio, it actually said 707 for the time. So that gave everybody a pretty good indicator that the truck was going to be out. So they've released it and they've already put the TRX and then the TRX Launch Edition. So the TRX Launch Edition uh, is limited to 702 trucks. And I'll talk about that in a little bit in a minute. But they sold out in less than three hours. So that's pretty impressive. You know, it looks like a high demand for the vehicle. So what is it? It's a Ram 1500 truck and it's kind of going after like the Raptor, I'd say. It's like an off-road version. So it has the 6.2 supercharged Hellcat engine, which we're all pretty familiar with at this time. And the truck is rated at 702 horsepower and 650 foot-pounds of torque. So when I just said that there's gonna make 702 launch edition trucks, that's to play off that 702 horsepower. So that's pretty cool. It's got the eight speed, eight HP 95, which is the same transmission that's in the Trackhawk and the same transmission that's gonna be in the Hellcat powered Durango. So very strong, very durable transmission. Uh, the engine has obviously proved itself, you know, time and time again to be a, a very durable and reliable power plant. So we got a good foundation. So if you look at the exterior of the truck, it has a very aggressive hood scoot. I love the look of it, but it's actually functional. So I've seen pictures of the hood open and you can see where it goes, this funnels down to uh, the supercharger inlet, kind of toward where the back of the engine would be. So I'm not exactly sure how underneath the cover it's exactly routed. Um, I haven't been into one obviously, but I just saw the pictures of it. And I know it also gets air in from the front grill. So we've got a fresh supply of cool air being supplied to the supercharger. So that's obviously a plus right there. So we've talked about the horsepower, talked about the torque. This thing is obviously geared for off-road, but I read some statistics on it and it's honestly pretty impressive. So this truck is supposed to do a zero to 60 time of 4.5 seconds and a quarter mile in 12.9 seconds at 108 miles an hour. This truck has 18 inch beadlock wheels with 35 inch tires. So for that to get down the track that fast, that's pretty impressive. Now the top speed of the truck is rated at 118 miles an hour. And that is strictly because the tires that are on the truck. So it has a Goodyear Wrangler all-terrain tires and that tire is just not rated to exceed 120 miles an hour. So they have to detune it uh, to make sure that you stay safe in that truck running those tires. Now, another interesting fact is, Dodge claims that the truck can traverse very harsh terrain at over 100 miles per hour. So, um, that's pretty impressive to say the least. You know, and that's gonna be largely due to not only the truck having a, a lot of power, but also the suspension under the truck and the shocks. And I'll talk about that in a little bit in a second. The truck is able to achieve those drag times and that zero to 60 foot time because it is equipped with launch control. Um, Another pretty cool thing is we're already used to all the different drive modes in the car, like the Hellcat and the Demon. We know that it has a lot of capabilities as far as how the suspension feels, how the transmission shifts, um, brakes, you know, a whole multitude of things. So the truck is gonna come with eight different drive modes. And I'm not gonna go through each and every one because they're, you know, I don't know in detail about exactly what each one of them do, uh, but I've got a pretty good idea based off how the car platform works. Um, one cool thing that it does have, I thought at least, is it has what's called jump detection. Is the computer is smart enough and monitoring enough things like wheel speed, ride height, um, accelerometer sensors, and it can tell if a wheel has come off the ground. And why this is important is um, if you were driving through very rough terrain, you're going to make a jump, and you had a, a lot of pedal effort, so you're really on the gas hard. If the wheel came off the ground and the truck is full-time four-wheel drive, as soon as the wheel comes off the ground, it's gonna start spinning. There's no resistance on the wheel. So when that wheel comes and hits contact with the ground, it's gonna provide a violent jolt to the driveline. It's very easy to brake stuff, similar like wheel hop in a car um, that you see at the track. 
So what it does, it's, it's able to monitor that. And so you don't have to take that into account. It can reduce the torque at those wheels so nothing breaks automatically in a millisecond time frame. So very advanced system, just like we've seen on the previous Hellcat-based vehicles. So Dodge has really put a lot of effort into all the, the engine management and the control suspension. Um, phenomenal work. So let's talk a little bit about the suspension and what's underneath the truck. So we'll start at the back, okay? So this truck is equipped with a Dana 60 electronically locking differential. So any of you guys out there that are into rock crawlers, off-road stuff, you know that a Dana 60 is one of the strongest rear ends out there. So they didn't skimp at all in this. Um, as far as the springs or what the setup on it, it's got coil springs in the back with about 14 inches of travel. So in the front of the truck, we have independent suspension with also coil springs. The front has about 13 inches of travel. Now the truck is equipped at all four corners with two and a half inch Bilstein E2 Blackhawk adaptive performance shocks. Okay, and they all have remote mounted reservoirs. So this is what's really going to make this truck shine when it comes to off-road and these claims that it can do over 100 mile an hour through rough terrain. That in essence is what's controlling the truck, um, keeping it safe, under control. Um, those are very good shocks, so they definitely went above and beyond on the suspension on this truck for sure. So while we're talking about the front, the front brakes are also very impressive. They come with 15 inch rotors, so a lot of stopping power on this truck. So this truck's probably not going to be your go-to hauling truck, you know, um, but it does have an impressive 8,100 pound tow capacity and about a 1,300 pound load rating. So it, you can use it for basically anything that you wanted to, in addition to being a kind of off-road specific truck. And I touched base earlier on the wheels um, as far as quarter mile time, so I'll just touch, touch base on it again. I'm not aware of another production vehicle um, that comes stock with beadlock wheels. Um, there, there probably is, I might just not know about them, but that was one thing that stood out to me. So it's, it has 18 inch beadlock wheels and then 35 inch tires. So pretty aggressive wheel and tire package for a stock production truck. So if you've seen any pictures of the truck, you already know that it has a very wide aggressive stance. So the TRX is eight inches wider than the standard Ram 1500s. So that's pretty significant. Another couple things that I want to touch base on are number one, ground clearance and water weighting depth, okay? So the ground clearance on the truck is right under 12 inches, 11.85 to be exact. The other cool thing is this truck is rated to wade through water up to 32 inches deep. So if you take a tape measure and put it on the ground, that is significant on a, on a Hellcat based vehicle, the engine would probably be underwater at 32 inches. So this truck is rated to drive through water as deep as 32 inches. There are a lot of options that you can pick with this truck. So on the interior wise, you have three different options. You can get a cloth, you can get a leather and suede, or you can get a leather and suede with red and carbon fiber accents. You get a dual pane panoramic sunroof. I mean, you, if you look at the option list, um, I was going to try to highlight some, but literally there's so many, it's ridiculous. Um, you could go on for an hour talking about all the options that they have. In fact, Dodge claims that the TRX is available with over 100 safety and security options and over 100 Mopar exclusive options. So you would probably spend a lot of time at the dealership specking this truck out to meet your needs, or you just add everything. And so when we're talking about adding everything, that's gonna bring us into the TRX Launch Edition truck. So they showed us the Ram Rebel TRX and then they showed us the Launch Edition. So the Launch Edition is only available in one single color, which is Anvil Gray. So basically from what I took of it and from what I researched, it's basically the truck is automatically by default loaded with a ton of different options. So it comes with two different real packages. So it's the TRX Launch Edition package and then the TRX Level 2 Equipment package. So if you're wondering what it costs, the regular Ram Rebel TRX starts at about $70,000. Uh, the TRX Launch Edition was $90,000, but like I said, they sold out within three hours. Uh, you can't even get that anymore. The Launch Edition package is comprised of about 19 different options, and it's things like just skimming through where I talked about the interior options. So it's going to come with the leather and suede with the red accents and the carbon fiber by default. It's going to come with a leather and carbon fiber flat bottom steering wheel, um, adjustable tie downs in the back a 19 speaker Harman Kardon stereo system. So a lot of different stuff. So you can, you can look on there and probably see all the different ones. The level two equipment package is an additional 35 options. So now we've added 54 additional options to the regular TRX truck. So, and again, you can pick much more than this. This is just what the launch edition comes with. There is a few things that are specific to the launch edition, not performance related. So as far as like the power, 
and the off-road capability and the, and the brakes and all that stuff. So all the main core components of the TRX Ram Rebel are on both models. The few specific things to the Launch Edition truck are things like badging. Um, I think there's a console badge that says Launch Edition. Obviously the color of the truck, there's some exterior badging. So it's basically just the addition of a lot of options by default, the specific color, and some specific badging on the outside and inside of the truck. Other than that, you can basically spec out a Ram Rebel TRX um, to be a Launch Edition plus more, it just won't have the color. So if you didn't get one of the first 702 trucks, don't worry about it, you can spec one out and make whatever truck you want. So that basically sums up the TRX Ram Rebel. Super cool concept, I love it. Uh, I think Ford's gonna have their hands full as far as keeping up with this thing, but we'll see, I'm sure they'll come back with something. So hope you liked the video. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. If you like the video, hit the like button. We'll see you again next time.